Deer or true deer are hoofed ruminant mammals forming the family Cervidae. The two main groups of deer are the Cervini, including the Munchak, the elk, the red deer, and the fallow deer, and the Caprolini, including the reindeer, white-tailed deer, the roe deer, and the moose white-tailed deer. The smallest members of the North American deer family are found from southern Canada to South America. In the heat of summer they typically inhabit fields and meadows using clumps of broad-leaved and coniferous forests for shade. During the winter they generally keep to forests, preferring coniferous stands that provide shelter from the harsh elements. Breeding adult white tails have reddish-brown coats in summer which fade to a duller grayish-brown in winter. Male deer, called bucks, are easily recognizable in the summer and fall by their prominent set of antlers, which are grown annually and fall off in the winter. Only the bucks grow antlers, which bear a number of tines, or sharp points. During the mating season, also called the rut, bucks fight over territory by using their antlers in sparring marches. Female deer, called does, give birth to one to three young at a time usually in May or June and after a gestation period of seven months. Young deer, called fawns, wear a reddish-brown coat with white spots that helps them blend in with the forest. Diet and behavior White-tailed deer are herbivores, leisurely grazing on most available plant foods. Their stomachs allow them to digest a varied diet, including leaves, twigs, fruits and nuts, grass, corn, alfalfa, and even lichens and other fungi. Occasionally venturing out in the daylight hours, white-tailed deer are primarily nocturnal or crepuscular, browsing mainly at dawn and dusk. In the wild, white tails, particularly the young, are preyed upon by bobcats, mountain lions, and coyotes. They use speed and agility to outrun predators, sprinting up to 30 miles per hour and leaping as high as 10 feet and as far as 30 feet in a single bound. Although previously depleted by unrestricted hunting in the United States, strict game management measures have helped restore the white-tailed deer population. White-tailed deer can be found throughout North America, with the exception of some areas in the southwest. They prefer wooded areas for protection and bedding, close to food and water. These resources are what attract deer to parks and green spaces in urban areas like New York City. Like most urban wildlife, white-tailed deer are extremely adaptable. They can be found in forests, grassland, farmland, and transition zones or edge habitats. Most white-tailed deer have home ranges that are about one square mile throughout the year. Males will often travel farther during mating season. White-tailed deer are generally considered solitary, especially in summer. However, does are often seen with their fawns and sometimes graze together in groups. Appearance White-tailed deer are large mammals. Adult deer can measure between 31 and 40 inches tall at the shoulder, and weigh up to 300 pounds. Their coat is a reddish-brown during summer, and a duller grayish-brown during winter months. Their throats, inner ears, underparts, and the underside of their tails are white. When they detect a disturbance, deer flash the white on their tails as a warning to other deer. Males begin to grow antlers when they are about a year old. In late January to March, bucks shed their antlers, and they regrow them in the spring to summer, developing larger sets with age. Antlers grow out of bony plates on the top of their head. During spring and summer, their antlers are covered in fine velvet-like hair. This velvet is full of blood vessels that transport nutrients for rapid antler growth. By the end of September, the antlers reach their maximum size, harden, and the outer velvet begins to shed. Bucks often rub against trees to assist in shedding, exposing the rigid bony antler. In the winter, bucks shed their antlers. If you see a buck with what looks like bloody spots on the top of its head, don't be alarmed, he has just shed his antlers. Behavior as most New Yorkers know, space in New York City comes at a premium. Whether you're riding a crowded bus or navigating down a busy sidewalk, moving through the city is easier when you can squeeze into tight spaces. They are quite large though, and, their size plays a big role in the challenges they both face and create in the city. This is especially true during the breeding season, known as the rut, which takes place in the fall. During this time of year, bucks will expand their home ranges in search of mates. 
This makes them more likely to be involved in their vehicle collisions, which are dangerous for drivers and deer alike. To learn more about deer related traffic safety tips, click here. During the rut, bucks use their antlers to establish their dominance and win mates. Bucks with larger antlers and body size tend to be more aggressive and more successful during the breeding season. Mortality caused by disease, sparring, hunting, and vehicular collisions brings the average age of deer to 5 years, though they have been known to live as long as 14 years. Their large size also means that white-tailed deer require lots of food. Fortunately for them, they have plenty of meal options. Therefore chambered stomachs are able to process different vegetation depending on what's available. Deer browse on leaves, flowers, berries, grasses, acorns, other nuts, fungi, twigs, and bark. They primarily eat during twilight hours in the spring and during daylight hours in the summer. Winter foraging usually takes place in late afternoon. However, they can be seen at any time during the day. At high population levels, deer browsing causes significant damage to local plant life. Deer have also been known to snack on plants in gardens. To learn more about how homeowners can protect their gardens from white-tailed 